What's going on guys? Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. You know, I wasn't gonna bring you guys the face cam today, but I was having a really, really good hair day. So, figured I'd bring you guys that. I wanna apologize for the lack of videos the few, past few days. I've been really sick, man. Literally, everyone in my family, uh, even past my immediate family, eight people got norovirus in my house uh, and people that were visiting. So, wild, wild four or five days, man. It was awful, uh, but we got through it, feeling better. I'm um, bringing you guys a great video today. It's against a really good player. He was in the top 10 on the LCQ leaderboards. Uh, his name is Young Colin. And uh, we we had an awesome game. He runs Gun Bunch. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit how to lock up Gun Bunch. I did a really good job on defense. So make sure you guys pay attention to that. Also, uh, he did a good job against my trips tight end. So if you want to learn how to play some defense against trips tight end, you guys can always look at him too as well. But hope you guys are ready for this video. If you guys could really do me a big, huge favor, you guys could really help me out. Drop a like for me. If we get 200 likes in this video, I told you guys in my community section. If you guys don't check that out, make sure you guys check that out. I routinely post in there. I am giving you guys an incredible blitz. One of the best blitzes I've seen all year. And it's only six man. I think it might be a little bit better than the 5-2 as far as consistency when only sending six. It's very, very good. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow. But we need 200 likes in this video and I'll bring you guys that. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. All right, boys. So you guys see we got it going on here. That's my team right there. You guys see Odell. Great player, man. Odell, I don't know if I've told you guys. I know I usually will brag about my players, tell you guys which ones I like and I don't like. If you guys don't have Odell Beckham on your team, I don't care if you're playing Mutt, if you're playing Salary Cap, if you're playing Mutt Drafts, quit out till you get yourself an Odell. You need Odell on your team. He's by far my favorite player this year. Early in the year, his diamond car was probably my favorite player. Um, he got outdated rather quickly just because his speed wasn't good enough. Um, but... He got he got upgraded really really quickly with the combine and then the uh the, I believe was it the free agent I think it was the free agent or trade I don't know whatever whatever that was he got another up, great upgrade phenomenal card my favorite card of the year make sure you guys put him in your lineup no matter what you're playing he's a great player right here you guys see I'm playing um it says be true to the game uh, this was young Colin he was playing on his account um, he was top ten in in LCQ he's a very very good player knows what he's doing. Um, and he's he, he's he's really good in bunch. He just knows what he's doing. Um, he ended up not being able to play in the LCQ since he was playing on someone else's account. Um, even though he played all the games, he just unfortunately didn't get to play. Uh, just the way the rules work, I guess. Um, doesn't take away from how good of a player he is. So this game is going to be really good for you guys to see. You guys see here, he's in um, he's in bunch, and we're doing a rather good job. We're making him work. We gotta we gotta. We, he had to convert a long down on his first set of four and then right here we put him on a fourth down and we made him convert again so we're making him work really really hard especially on first possessions i always tell you guys you might not get a stop but something that you really really want to do is you want to make someone work so if i force him to to a fourth down and a, like a third and 15 a second and 15, like just putting him on those long downs will allow me to learn what he wants to do so now i know what place he wants to go to on certain downs and I can know what defense to have out there in order to stop him so just by making him work I'm learning things and the more I can learn the more I'm gonna be able to play better defense later on in the game here we go another fourth down here so we have a fourth and five so now I, I don't I'm expecting him to go back to the same play that he ran before to get it on me he didn't but now I have another play that I know he likes to go to he ends up picking up another first down but we're making him work so hard that we're literally getting him to bring out all his best plays and all his situational plays early on in the game. So, I know you can't always make your opponent work. That's not really advice, make your opponent work. But something I can advise you to do is when you force your opponent into these, if you're able to force your opponent into these downs, so a third and 10, a fourth and five, take note of what they're running. That's something I can advise you on. Whenever you do get your opponent in that situation, you need to take note of what they're running and think about how to stop it. So. As soon as you're back in that fourth and five, fourth and six situation, okay, he ran this last time. Here's the adjustments I have to do to stop that. Bam, 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 bam. You come right out of the huddle, you make those adjustments, and you hopefully get a stop this time. But that's just something you can do. Regardless, we're making them work really hard here. It's a third and four here. You really, really want to hold for three. If I hold for three here, I'd say it's a perfect win on our on our drive. And he ends up going for it on fourth down. I thought he should have kicked here simply because he had worked so hard and it's tough down in the red zone. But we end up playing really good defense right here, and we knocked the ball out and get ourselves a stop. So perfect start to the game. We made him work extremely hard. We made him bring out his best plays. Now we just saw his uh, his fourth and short red zone play, which was spacing. 
So now I have his fourth and five, his uh, fourth and ten, and his and his uh, his goal line short red zone play. So we picked up three three tendencies off him and got a stop. That's probably the most perfect first possession you could possibly get. Now I'm down near the goal line, which I don't really like being down here. It's kind of scary. You don't want to get a safety. Um, but right here, we're trying to pick up a first down. If we can get this chains moving, we're going to feel ourselves really start to get a rhythm here. Uh, we've had a tough first, tough, tough couple first downs, but we're able to find a laser. We're able to move the chains, pick up about 30 right there, and now we're moving. So once you get that first down, once you get off that goal line, kind of relax yourself a little bit, you start to feel better. So you can see we're already down to the second quarter here. His first drive took an eternity, simply just because he got so many fourth downs and he converted so many of them. So this is a really quick first half, but it's worked out really well for us. Right here, I'm thinking to myself, three is not even the worst thing in the world. Uh, it's our ball at halftime. We just need to make sure not to turn it over. We need some type of points right here. Seven's obviously better than than um, than three, but we fumble the ball. So we're pretty pretty upset about that, to be honest with you. I mean, we got we worked really hard. We got ourselves a stop, and then we worked our way all the way down the field to inside the red zone. Uh, had complete control of the game. We're going to go up possession and our ball at half. We throw an open pass and we end up getting stripped. So tough break for us there. And then right there, I mean, oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right there. Uh, I think that's luck. Maybe y'all can tell me otherwise. I don't know. But I personally thought that was super lucky. Right here. We try to go deep with Moss. We saw that he was manning up the whole team. So I uh, I tried to catch him with a fade. Moss didn't burn him, which surprised me a little bit simply because Moss is 98 speed. And I didn't think the, the Lattimore he was manning up was going to be fast enough to keep up. But maybe he had a better Lattimore. Who knows? Um, but it looked like he checked him right there. So we're not going to go back to that for at least a little while. Maybe we'll try to catch him again later to see if it was fluke. But right now we need to make sure we put a drive together and we get this three before half. We've played well this half, so you don't want to go down 7 nothing. You want at least something to show for this drive. If we can make it 7-3, we definitely can fight. Uh, th that's There's no doubt about that. But the fact of the matter is we've outplayed in this half. And if you go in seven, down 7-0, seven, it's a little bit of a demoralizer. So 7-3 is not the end of the world. And we're going to try to make that happen here. We still have a timeout. We have over 50 seconds. So 3 is definitely not out of the question. If we do pick up a huge chunk quickly, we actually could maybe get um, 7. But we'd have to pick up a big chunk and maybe get out of bounds. So... We're really not worried about that. We're really just trying to focus on getting three, but we are going to bring out some of our best plays with some deep options, just in case he, he slips up and gives us something. So right there, he gives it to us and Vic sells us. So right there, I'm actually pretty mad. I mean, any of you guys who know me, I do I do get a little frustrated. And when things like that happen, I get pretty pissed off. Um, and then we have another wide open pass coming. He just had to get to the sideline and we could hit as we throw and we turn it over. So. We've literally controlled this game to a T. We got our first stop. We drove all the way down the field. And we got a fumble and a Superman ag from, I, don't, I think it looked like Edelman, to, to, basically, to basically take the game away from us. Um, and now he has a chance to go up two possessions before half. He does get a little greedy, though. And we catch him trying to throw that verticals route. And our wheel route picks it off. And our cloud flat picks it off. Excuse me. Huge play there, monumental play, I, I should add. I mean, we if we go down to nothing there, we're nine times out of 10 gonna lose. Bad run stick there by me. Had a wide open hole and I missed it, but but for a game that we completely controlled to possibly be down 10, uh, 10 nothing at, uh, at half would have been an absolute atrocity to me because I feel like we really outplayed him. Simply because we got our stop, he, he got me to fumble for his stop and then and then I had two wide, two maybe three wide open passes that I that I got cheated on back to back. So all good right there. We tried to fit our post rod in, just couldn't uh, get it in underneath that deep quarter. Um, deep quarters are gonna play well like that sometimes. Next play, we hit our we hit our post, and Julio gets the knockout. Right, I'm telling y'all, man, I was really, really, really angry at this point, just simply because I just felt like I actually wasn't playing bad, and I had zero points on the board to show for it. It was just. It was just rather frustrating um, right there. Big play from Vic to make this a manageable fourth down. But I am getting a little frustrated right here. But I have to. you have to do your best. When things are happening like this, you have to do your best to keep your composure. Um, because I am playing well. And if I keep playing well, I, I will eventually have success. Now, I actually got really unlucky right here. I got lucky at the play result, yes. 
I definitely should have caught that. However, I had a motion out route and he didn't have a hard flat over there that I was going to throw if, if it let me hike, but it didn't let me hike and he blocked. And as you can see, he blocked again. I don't know why it wouldn't let me hike. I had that timing down and I had the in route, which he had to follow the play before. And so if I just had my out route, it would have been a wide open first down. I only needed two yards. However, he blocks. And of course the cloud flat is going to play my corner route easily. So I had nothing open. I ended up getting a lucky result. It worked out for me, yes. But I'm not mad at my play call whatsoever there. It was the perfect play call. If I just have my out route on the field and he doesn't block, it's a, it's a first down. So not mad at it. I deserved it because I drew up the right play. It just wouldn't let me hike it. Right there, we throw our favorite red zone dot. If you guys have been paying attention to the videos, I've been posting these videos, these gameplays a lot. A lot of good gameplays lately. That is my go-to red zone play. It is my favorite play. That crosser is so, so, so good in the red zone and I threw up the perfect play for it right there and just got sold again and just having a rough day just a rough day with Vic rough day with my receivers dropping the ball we've dropped a few we've only thrown a few and right there finally I got the play to work so we have the in route and the out route and what do you know he has to stay with the out route and we get our in route that's just all it would have been on that third down so right here we go to our crosser our favorite that's our favorite probably inside the 10 play right now um after the crosser play before that like gets too close for it to not work um he does a good job guarding it right there next play he doesn't guard it and you know what we get sold on again i i don't even know what to tell y'all at this point in this point of the game i was like the fact that i have zero points is almost criminal i was so angry and i just couldn't get anything to work and we turn it over on downs we probably threw about four touchdowns that drive we didn't get any of them, and we're still down 7-0. So I'm thinking to myself, boy, you better get this stop. Because if you lose this game, you might just quit LCQ all by itself. Now, I did end up did quitting it, uh, just, but it had nothing to do with how I was playing, really. It just I just didn't want to play anymore. I was getting frustrated with the game. I've been, I've been busy trying to make you guys have content. I got sick. Every, every different word. Right there, we lurk him crazy. And... We didn't get the animation on the pick, but we do knock it out. So another fourth down, but guess what? We knew exactly what his fourth down play was. We were okay with giving up that flat, and we're just going to hope to make a tackle. But he overthrows it, so we get the ball back. But at the end of the LSUQ thing, man, at the end of the day, man, I just wanted to focus on giving you guys YouTube content, bringing streams, um, and just focus on building my brand. I didn't really worry about the tournament. I didn't think I was going to win it at this point of the year. I was a little bit behind the curve as far as just my feel on the game. Um... I just didn't feel like I was the best player, so I didn't think I was gonna win any. I'm probably, I'm, I would guarantee I'm a top 40, 40 player right now. Um, if you take away the guys that are already in the bowl, I'm probably like a top 25 player. But I didn't think I was gonna win it, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna focus on my content and keep my sanity, enjoy my life. You guys know how that goes, but I'm definitely gonna keep giving you guys great games. And right here, we play perfect defense, and he throws the ball away. So we got him on a third down. So we've battled our way all the way back in this game, boys. It is 7-7. Probably should be around 14, maybe 17-7. Maybe not even 7 because that ad catch. Who knows? I felt like I've outplayed him. Uh, I felt like I've played probably... This is probably the best defensive game I played on the ladders against Bunch. I struggled against Bunch. And as we get a nice sack right there. I struggled against Bunch against a lot of people. Uh... But really, it's just about finding a rhythm. And I felt like this game, I really, really got my rhythm going. I felt like I played great defense. And uh, and it showed, man. It showed. I, I felt like the only touchdown he's gotten so far was from an ag catch. So right there, we go to an ag. Oh, we wanted that one. We wanted that ag for the game. We trusted Julio on that. But can't be mad. I felt like it was a safe throw. Um, but the fact of the matter is, it's all good. Well, we're okay with three here. I feel like we've made him work so hard all game i just feel like i don't think i'm gonna give up this three i really felt like going into this play i wasn't gonna give up this three simply because i felt like i played really good defense and i knew what he wanted to do uh right here we do end up giving up with the crosser to be honest i had probably had the worst user ever it actually was really good defense his hitch was taken away his drag was taken away and i just had maybe the sleepiest user i've ever seen so uh we end up we ended up um giving that up which is sucky because now i'm probably gonna give up the three you don't want to give up a big chunk like that. If you can take any lesson from me on that play right there, even if the drag was open, which it wasn't, give it to him. Like, it's 10 yards. You don't want to give up 30. You know what I mean? So that, that was just stupid defense. Uh, right there, we have 99 speed uh, Dion out there, and we also have 96 speed Roby at safety. So 
didn't really feel like his his guy was gonna burn me deep so I wasn't too worried about it um and I wasn't really like gonna over adjust to make sure that that didn't happen um it looked like he beat Roby the first time but he definitely didn't beat Dion so I'm cool with that nice play there to make sure he got himself his field goal and he just winds the clock down and he takes it I'm not even gonna try to block it not my style I don't really try to block kicks that much. Um, it's very rare where you'll see me actually try to block one. But first play overtime, we do get the ball first. You guys like to see that. Um, the, this game this game is an offensive game. I know it's 10-10, but the whole Madden 19 game is an offensive game. If you win the toss, you got to take the ball first and try to go get your seven. Um, it's really tough to stop people. And right here, perfect pocket. Go ahead and rewind that back for the viewers back home. If you guys want to see it, that is perfect pocket, and we end up getting the game, guys. It was the freaking fight of a century. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This game was incredible. Great game to Colin. He's a friend of mine, constant viewer, always in the stream. Appreciate y'all, man. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want. Let me know what you guys think I could do better, but take it easy, man. Peace.